Hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War 1 Ultimate Edition on the PC, and this is my Insane Difficulty Guide and Walkthrough. We're currently on Act 5-3. It is entitled Window Shopping. So we're going to be uh, walking past some windows and uh, trying to pretend that we might be able to buy something because we're poor as hell and we can't afford it. So I don't think you'll have too many troubles aside from the joking I don't think you'll have too many troubles with this chapter um, except for one part that does stand out to me as being a little bit difficult um, this part is a little bit awkward um, the the part that I mentioned is not going to come up for a few fights though but um, we're we're looking okay we're not um, fully stocked up on our weapons but when you come out here, there's going to be a, um, a dude on the Troika and a couple of, uh, of assistants that uh, will, will come over here and try to give you trouble. If you have the Torque Bow, you can get a headshot on this guy. As long as it makes contact with his body, you do get credit for a, um, a kill. I'm pretty sure that that's how that works. If you use any grenades, there are some behind that trash can to fill yourself out again and you know go ahead and pick up your teammates your I don't understand it do you none of your other teammates will make an effort to pick up downed uh, squad mates I have no idea why they're so reluctant to do it why they hate the other teammates but um, you know what would you get out of my fucking way I can't I wanna be where Barrett is and he won't fucking move his shit filled ass um, yeah, so we're not completely completely maxed out with things. I am thinking of the um, the boss chapter that comes at five five. You don't you don't just want to have power weapons on that stage. And um, what I'm probably going to do is I'll keep the boom shot and then swat switch out um, my torque for the lancer. And then w once I get um, back to the regular chapters I'll be able to easily acquire a torque bow it's just that boom shot that they don't give you very often so in fact I think the last time they give you a boom shot could possibly be 5-4 um, yeah I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head over here but we have a, a difficult checkpoint coming up over here and do you do you see how I've got the snub? I'm going to be using the snub. Um, the way that we're doing things is going to force us to use it, to to use and rely on the snub a lot more than we have been in the in the past. And fortunately for us, it is the snub and not the bull talk, uh, because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to use the bull talk. It's it's horrible. I will have I will use it if I have to, um, but I was I was just noting on Twitter how uh, infrequently they put snub pistols on the ground it's it's um it's really strange a lot of times they start you off with either one or the other uh, i mean what kind of statement is that of course they're going to start you off with one or the other but um oh do you see the black uh curves on the side of the screen i can't for the life of me figure out why this game sometimes has those i'm very sorry i don't know what the hell is going on it's very frustrating. I have no idea. They come and go. I have no clue. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this is the difficult checkpoint of which I spoke. Um, so feel free to liberally use your, your torque bow over here because there's going to be uh, Therons that uh, use it up here sometimes. Some They usually use the Lancer, but the ones downstairs will, will use the torque a lot. So you'll be able to get all of your torque uh, back. And you've got to do uh, one, two, three, I think three sections without a checkpoint. So this is probably the hardest part of the chapter over here. But I can't believe how uh, infrequently, I can't think of another word. Like they hardly ever put a snub on the ground anywhere on these maps. And you, you probably could say the same of the bull talk, but I just want to focus on the snub. You hardly ever get an opportunity to use the snub, to pick up the snub anywhere. I've had to, um, I've started Act 4 over so many times to get the snub on 4-1 uh, on that it's, it's kind of embarrassing to say it. And speaking of embarrassing, I hate, absolutely hate missing with the torque bow. 
not only is it uh, disadvantageous, of course, but it's frustrating and it's it's so embarrassing, so so embarrassing. Same same with missing with the long shot. Anyway, when you descend uh, that uh, on ramp over here, wait a minute, let's back up for a second. An on ramp? This is not an on ramp, for God's sake. Sometimes I just mix my words up. It's not a fucking on ramp. It's a, it's some kind of an incline. Uh, there's five wretches over there, though. And then this guy, if he mantles over, I try to uh, stick him with a grenade. You've got to get really far away, though, because you can get killed. I just, I think he should kick the enemy away just to get him away from you. But I don't do grenade tagging enough in this game, so I wanted to, to showcase it. And then when you get down here, I do think they should have given, given you a checkpoint. Wow, did you see that blood geyser? Wow, it's incredible. Okay, so now that we've got down here, this is the section that I said you can liberally use your, uh, your, use your torque bow. So I've liberally used it a lot, and now I have uh, no rounds. So um, I'm going to come back up here and switch for a Lancer, and then do the rest of my killing with it. And then once the fight's over, I'll restock on the torque bow. You can easily get up to 12. So what we're going to be doing, like I said, is... Um, even if we don't start 5-8 with, um, with the Torpo, um, we'll still be able to acquire it. It's just that we need to start it with the boom shot because uh, you do not get it on 5-8. So as we go into these chapters, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, I know there are some boomers coming up in the next chapter as well. So we, that, that is potentially one of the last areas... I'm trying to think, five, five, six, five, seven, what's five, six? One, one's the train, and there are no boom shots there. What is the other level that I'm forgetting? What the fuck is it? Oh, it must be, the train and ram must be divided in two. Yeah, five, four is the next chapter that we're coming up on. It possibly is the last chance to obtain a, uh, a boom shot. So once you've cleared everybody and scavenged for what you need, uh, we're going to be coming down here to do the final fight of the chapter. Uh, there is a boomer at the end of this chapter, by the way. Kick open the door, and then there's going to be a, a grenadier or two down here mixed in with um, some, some Therons. Apparently the Theron guards do change their weapons from time to time. They switch from Lancers to Torque Bows. Um, I still haven't been able to determine if this game has uh, rid itself of the uh, perfect active damage bonus. Um, fuck you, Baird. You know, if they did that, if they took that incentive out, just to hell with it. I'm still going to prefer this game always, but um, that was one of the, the reasons, f you know, for, for taking a risk. Taking a risk and, and risking a gun jam just to get a, a, a sped up reload bonus because let's face it, if they took out the perfect damage, uh, the per perfect damage active reload bonus, the only other bonus would be that you get a faster reload. How much faster could it possibly be that it would uh, nullify the risk of getting a gun jam? Ridiculous. I mean, why would you take that out? So I'm hoping that they didn't, but sometimes when I play through this game, it feels like they they did, and I hate that. I hate I potentially hate them for doing that, but I can't accuse them of it. I don't know if they did it or not. Okay, so once everybody is finished off in this room, you you, you just have one boomer left standing in your way, and. Notice that I never use my boom shot because um, finding boom shots and, and acquiring uh, them from drops from boomers is not something that happens too often in this game. With the torque bow, it's another story. So we're basically just saving up these boom shots. We've got 10 boom shots and 11 torques. Um, and of course, we're also carrying the, uh, the snub. So I will see you in the next video. Please take care and thank you for continuing to watch the guide and supporting it. Thank you.